Hello everyone, it's Rita here and it is Trash It Tuesday and I've been working on this um, little journal that I've um, made from a, a book that I got at a thrift store and uh, you would know if you watched the, the Tuesday, uh, Trash It Tuesday last week. So um, I kind of wanted to use a house a theme so I uh, finished this up. I don't think I did it all on camera, but, and I put some Tim Holtz people in here that are dressed for the winter. And um, so then I, I don't know what I'm doing exactly. Cause I, I don't have a real good um, uh, idea what I want right now to do. Cause I don't, it's not coming to me, but I did the other day took a metal, um, tin can, you know, soda can, and I cut it and I embossed it and inked it. And I was thinking this would make kind of a cool roof for one of the houses. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, so to get this off, you cut off your top and your bottom of your soda and you just poke a hole in it with something, uh, you know, like a, an awl or something that's sharp enough that you can get a pair of scissors in there. Whoa, this is, might be real noisy. I wanted to trim, trim, I don't want that edge there. So let me just trim this away because that way I don't have to go anymore. So then, um, I put it through my, Sizzix, my big shot. And I'm going to use, um, this is kind of like a zigzag effect. I'm going to use this in here and see if that kind of gives us like a roof effect. Um, let's see, I got to have this part. Oh no, I need this part. And I need a shim, this, and then this. Because I, the other day I had, you know, it takes a while to get to, to figure out which ones you need to actually get the image on or the embossing. And it only takes a second. It's just, it takes longer to figure out how much, um, what kind of shim you need. I mean, I have one of those that tells me, uh, but the this it's real long that goes with this big shot, and I hate that one. So, okay, well, that's kind of cool. So, there's a little bit of a roof. I don't know if I embossed it backwards because, um, I don't know if this. The mic is like right on my neck. Okay, so let's see. I think I would like to use it that way, but that might not be big enough. Let's see if I... I was going to use something like this size of a card. Oh my goodness, can you believe it's not like book doesn't go that way okay um i'm just thinking maybe i should just use this one instead of going through all this um so this one i just bent it over and pushed it down um, and I did this with the score, um, scoring tool. Let's just see what I can get here real quick. So what I did was I just laid this out on the scoreboard. This one's a little more difficult 
um, maybe it's because I guess it's the design it's hmm. it never fails the minute I get on camera because this is not hard to bend but I I was able to do it where it had a straight line I have a feeling it's just the uh, this embossed piece that I have is too too raised or something all right, I'm not going to do this. Okay, so my printer's going haywire in there. So anyway, um, if you haven't done this, this tin, this um, tin is very lightweight on most of the sodas now, um, and you can emboss on them, and then put your alcohol ink on, and um, yeah, you get a, a nice little design. I don't know if I can. Let me find a little alcohol here. Oops, that's not it. Um, just to give you an idea of how it works. Like I said, I am just not doing really, I'm not doing well today. I, I've been to the grocery store for my, you know, getting the last minute Thanksgiving stuff. I've got most of it, but okay, so that's what that looks whoa, like. You can just rub that all over, or you can just leave it silver, or you can buff it a little bit, like so. Yeah, and um, that gives you a really neat effect. Still might be able to use that. I don't want these sharp edges. That's what I'm concerned about. I don't want somebody to cut themselves. Okay. Well, this one doesn't have a sharp edge. I put sticky tape on the back because I wanted to stick it up on the wall and see if I could make my own tiles for my kitchen. I Seriously, that's what I was going to do. But I don't think so. I thought if I put little nails in it, it would be really cute. Kind of like a brick shape. Um, yeah. Okay, let's do something else then. This part we've got, I'm going to take this and I'm going to um, cover it with some uh, varnish and get it to, to seal down. I put two magnets in here um, and they grip, but not really well um, because I think that the inside of this, because we've put the extra paper in there, is now like pushing it out a little bit but we'll just put a tie on it and that way it'll be fine all right so let's get some trash i've got these little guys i've got this stuff here and this is trash so i was going to make um a little house um where's that other one I have this over here so I was thinking of just making some tags that uh, look like houses. And then these pages here, I think I'm going to cover them with a solid paper. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use Busy like this. I think I'm going to go print some more of my solids like so. And then we'll put a pocket on the page and then we'll tuck in a little house. Okay, so we just have to keep in mind the size, or I have to, You, everybody's going to have something different, but this is basically the size that we'll have to work with. Um, I better go in about like that. Let's see, what's that? Just to get a 
So that's like three and three quarters. Let's go three and a half. That will make it just easier. Actually, yeah, let's do a three. How big is this page? This page is um, three and seven eighths. If I leave room in the edge there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say three and a half. So anyway, I went shopping and all that, and oh, it was packed, the store. I didn't really think it would be that bad on Monday, but tomorrow, I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. Um, it's three and a half right here. This really doesn't line up at all. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta, I've got to get online and look for that other trimmer. Again, that looks like that. Okay, so out of that card, we can get three. Let's just make sure that it's going to... Yeah, I feel like it needs to be a little smaller than that. Hmm. I thought that would be a good size, but I don't think so. Um, let's go down to three. It's so hard to get used to another cutting machine. This is just a cheapo, but I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on, uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to go smaller on that one. I don't know. I punched a hole out of it so I could use it for a bathroom. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Okay, so let's um, cover this with some background paper. I wanted, I don't know if I have any, um, this one's kind of a floral here. And the back I will be covering with, um, with one page so yesterday I um, was doing the rest of the collage on this book thing the it's not a journal I mean it's a um, folio type and I was and this is the last of my glue so that's another thing I have to do I have to get Blue ordered. There's just all these things. I could have put this closer to the edge so we wouldn't be wasting paper. But ink this a little bit. Okay, so see I was thinking one of these would make a cute little roof. I don't, I think we could even do something sideways like that. 
That'll be cute. Let's see if I cut this at that angle. You know what? I think. It's a little bit of a wonkier house. Let's see if that fits. No, that doesn't work. Okay. That's okay. Um, I'm surprised that okay, I could use I could have the house go in that direction like that. Piece of trash here. Okay. Let's see, what can we put on the roof? We could have the reindeers on top of the roof. Okay. I'm just going to look at it through the light here. Whoops, probably should go over a little more so I can fold this around the back. So hope everybody's doing well and if if you're um, in the United States where we have Thanksgiving, you're all um, getting ready for that. not making all the fixings like I if my mom was here we would but um, we will definitely be thinking of her on that day because that was her that's what she loved to do was bake pumpkin pies and dinner rolls and the old famous jello salads. <laughs> we were talking about that the other day, how we, you know, in the sixties, everybody had jello salad of some kind in a mold. Okay. Gosh, sticky. It's not sticking down very good. I should say very well. I don't know if good is the right good English. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking that I was just going to make them kind of wonky up there. I could go more this way. That way the tag would be a little taller. So let's turn that around. How am I going to put the back on this? I don't know. Oops. I guess I better go this way. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if that looks good or not. Let's see. Okay, so let's, we need to find a chimney. Um, Let 
Let's see if I can. I guess we could have it like come straight out of the middle of the house, like so. Okay, this has to be back onto some cardstock. here and we'll add something on here too up there the roof. all right let's see if this little piece is big enough it's good and sturdy that's for sure I'm just going to have it come. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep having these um, like little, like a sharp pain going into the side of my head. Like it's, I feel like it's um, almost like an ear infection thing or something. I don't know. That's, that's another thing that's been wearing away at me today. I have just all these things. All right. Let's just glue that down. Okay. Here's our little chimney. a cute little door and a window I'm thinking um, let's see what we I thought maybe these would work for pockets um, Maybe that one's the only one that's wide enough. So I took a Tylenol for these little sharp pains, but Tylenol's not working. I've had this once before. I just don't remember. I don't remember how it went away. So we could do that. pages. That's way too big. I don't mind so much if that sticks out, but I don't think this should stick out. Okay, well that's another thought. I don't have to do that right now. I don't know how I'm going to get all these houses on before Christmas. I don't think I'm going to make it. Okay. Oh, isn't there anything that looks like a door? I think this would be cute for the top of a, of a roof. I remember that one.
I'm thinking maybe this wording could make a door. I might make a door there. Mm. Let's make this the door. I think it's kind of big, but... Maybe I can put some other designs on there. people. Um, yes, I don't want to use these guys. They're those big groups. I don't have a lot of Tim Holtz uh, people. There's people in this kit I could cut out. I don't feel like cutting out something. I just want a couple people. Well, let's see. Would they? What would they be sitting on? Just thinking it would look like he was coming in the door. Okay. And then I need a window. This seems, well, I don't want the door smaller than him. So, all right. It's probably. Um, several other things I can use, could have used. Oops. I was hoping to get a couple houses made today. I really do like that flower that's on the background. Okay. Now, I need a window. Um, I got a postage stamp here. Could put a window in the door. I was thinking maybe something round for a window up here. that out. It's not very much of a contrast. Um, Okay, that one 
instead. That's probably too thick. Hold on, I got it. I just want to put like a window um, frame. I need to like mark the outside of it oh I'm so bad at this so um, let me glue this on first okay I just kind of want to define the outside of the window doesn't have to be perfect because it's junk journal and it looks fine. So we've got him. Now see if I put this like a pocket then he's, you know, he may show up a little bit. Okay. Let's see. We need something else on this. Okay. Um... I wonder if one of these little pine cones would be cute for the doorknob. These were on sale this last week. Could do it like this way. A little door handle. was going to leave it up so I could put it let's get him stuck down pretty sure that's where I want him to be I don't think I need him standing on anything here would be cute for the roof edge it's not quite old enough I just thought what is that it's ribbon. This oh, this was on sale Hobby Lobby, and it's like a jute twine. Well, more it's more like a cord. Um, I don't know where the beginning and end is. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna cut it. See if I'm just going to glue stick this. I was hoping I could get it to oh, that's 
it's not going to stick. I think I'll do a little thing of art glitter. A little bit of black lace would have probably been cute. Okay, we'll let that kind of set up for a minute there. I do have these trees, but I don't know. Hmm. I think I'll wait on them. Maybe I'll use those somewhere else. So I got that. But I want something down here. Um. What do I need? I think I want another person because he's my person. Making a huge mess here. Okay. Oh, we could put a number there. Maybe. That might be good. Just something on the door, like apartment seven, number seven kind of big. I have a smaller one. Hmm. I have a Tim Holtz puppy, but he's like going the wrong way. Some mice and plates. I had, oh, I guess that's all I had right here that it's already in my book. Okay. Well, I kind of like this down here, but I also like it up here. I think it looks cute there. So I'll find something else to put down there. I can put, um, And these license plates. Kind of wanted more. Oh, how about this blue one? I, can, I want to hoard these, you know, because they're just cool. I don't want it. Yeah, I like that one. <clears throat> it's the right color. All right, I'll give up one license plate. Because <laughs> they're precious. Because I can't make any. That's why I can't. It's not a digital. I have to buy them. 
um, Reflections by Dyes. I got those. if they have them anywhere else or not I have was happy to get them from her okay all right Let's see what time it is now I'll I'll put something on here and just fussy cut around it to make it a full tag. I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm going to bend this little piece a little bit. Okay, so the reindeers are walking on the roof. And he's ready to go in the house and tell everybody. And this is our chimney. And what time is it? Oh, gosh. It takes me so long to do anything. I'm already at 40 minutes. If it takes me this long I'm every Tuesday, like I said, I'll never get finished with this. All right, I'm going to call this one done for the moment so let me put that house with this house just so we don't lose it and then here's another background Probably would have been better to fold this over. That way you get a nice clean edge on the sides. And when you have time, you, you know, that's something you could do. sticky tape on anything again all right so let's let's just make this a roof um, I don't want it to be sharp so I'm gonna have to cut it maybe twice that so like a half inch, so I can try to turn it. I don't know if this will cut this. Yeah. All right. ready to put a piece of paper on the back of that to keep it from um, sticking to everything. All right. Just 
just going to see if I can't score this and be able to fold it over. Ah! That is the best sticky tape. Double-sided. It sticks to your hands, that's for sure. It's not too tall. Okay. Kind of wanted to make a shape, but like I said, unless I can fold those two corners down. to get some kind of a so I can do it the same on both sides um, I'm gonna do this right here so this goes up to four and three quarters that okay This to be four and three quarters. I'm not sure what I had this one on. Okay, two and three. maybe it's not going to make a difference. All right, I think that's going to be close enough. I don't know, I might be making this worse, you guys. Instead of better. Well, that's not quite the right angle. It's a little harder to bend when you've got all these edges. Um, should have done this before. Wrapped it around cardboard. But this was already done. That's... Okay, so where's my... Okay, so that kind of looks like a roof. Or is it too tall? Be out of time. Where's my little wipe? Hmm. 
it'll glue down once it is set down long enough on there. Okay. I don't know, you guys. I, I'm sure I'm out of time. Um, you guys didn't want to watch an hour. And honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do next. This is not quite on there straight. You need a chimney. That I know. Hmm. Um, I think maybe I might have the chimney coming out. This one look good up there, would it? No. I like this too much to... Um, Quickly look to see if I have something that would be. This one would make a nice window. could just put a like a porthole window but I was thinking of a chimney coming from off the top I wasn't going to really use the word Christmas in this because I want it to be more of a winter journal stock. I might be able to find something else to put up here on the roof to go with it, like over here, a little rabbit or something, or bird. And that window looks the same, too close to that size. <clears throat> so, uh, too tiny for a door. Too bad it wasn't bigger, it would have been a cute door. It's probably going to take a while to set up, too. Okay. A piece of trim would be cute here. oversized but um, I kind of don't mind it <sighs> so I like that color oh, that looks nice too Okay. 
This will just be too bulky in there. I mean, that by the time we get that little booklet filled up, that it's not even going to close. So I kind of like this one. I'm, I don't think I'm going to glue it down yet. One of these trees might be cute. Over here, once I get the door figured out. Or I could find another person. Tim Holtz. I was looking at the music, but it all seems to be going because I thought maybe a music would be good there. Maybe this like alphabet would look good on there. And I keep reaching for those scissors and oh, where's my other scissors? Oh my gosh. I doubt that I put them away. Oh there they are. So I think I'm going to cut it down. Let's, let's just make the door on this side. I'll cut it down this much and see what happens. That, I knew that was going to happen. That's kind of cool. You know what? It's not inked around this side. That might make a difference. Hope that's not crooked. So I'm going to leave it here and come back. I might make a couple of these and just, you know, get it or cover all the backs of the pages or something because I'm never going to get it done in time for Christmas. Um, it needs like the window up there. And then we need something on the side. So I could put a little Christmas tree there, like it's standing next to the door. And then if I put it in a pocket, I could put another larger um, person in there. I didn't pick up the same. No. Oh, that's way out of proportion, huh? I mean, it's okay, but I'm gonna have him lean on the tree. Like this guy could be standing inside the pocket. Like so. And it's just a tiny Christmas tree. Okay, he might work. I 
I don't know. I'll figure it out. I thought I'd use those guys because they have the winter coats on. I'm trying to find people with a coat. Sweaters, that kind of thing. He's got a sweater. This Christmas tree probably is not the best look. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I wish I could have done more for you today that would have given you, um, you know, uh, something new to see. But I just really couldn't come up with something. So we did get um, one done, and I think it turned out pretty cute in the end. I will put a picture up. Maybe, I don't know, it just seems like it needs something else up there. But, um, maybe not. Sometimes, you know, enough is enough. All right, guys, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.